Hey, what's up, my little Tattletoes? How y'all doing today? What's up, Sussex Squad? Listen, we have we are still having live coverage of the funeral for the whole British monarchy. Bought to you by Petty Petty William and stupid and bumbling Petty Charles. Y'all, what is the latest thing? And I don't know why. The palace is releasing the fact that they almost seem to me to be bragging about the fact that Prince Harry was told about his grandmother's death five minutes before the public was. You guys, we have more on that because it was a petty tit for tat, but like everything with the royals, read the GD room. Speaking of reading the room, Kate showed up dressed like an episode out of Clue, the deranged widow. Maybe she was wistfully hoping that William passes away and she can inherit the whole throne and rule as Princess Catherine the first or whatever, whatever number they're up there. But y'all, let's also not forget that they are desperate. This is about honoring the queen, right? This is about the queen's legacy. How dare Harry and Meghan hold hands, even though Joe and Jill Biden held hands, the president of the United States, ow. And also, Mark Khan, and I think even Justin Trudeau and his wife. Basically, everybody but the stuffy Brits <laughs> held hands. On top of that, there's so much to go over. This is going to be so good. This actually might be a little longer than the usual. Make sure you uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Real Housewives of Atlanta uh, review is up. And so is my review of Candy with uh, Candy Burrs. Also, we're going to do our members only live today. Okay, so let's get look at William faking like he's sad. I can't. And this is, brings me to my next point. They were so desperate to make sure that no attention fell on Meghan and Harry. They even pulled their children out to go to the funeral. Now, it is their grandmother's funeral, but I wonder how when she was actually passing away and they might have gotten there before she passed away, Kate insisted they go to the first day of school. But now you pull them out of school to go to the funeral. Wouldn't it have made more sense, at least if you really cared about your, your uh, Mima? to actually go and try to see her before she passed away and then maybe skip the state funeral when you bring them out to take attention from Harry and Meghan. But can someone just explain to me one thing? Because math's not mathing. How are putting little people in front of big people to take the attention off of the big people? How, how does that work? Because if anything, you just put more attention on Harry and Meghan. You guys, you cannot make up this bumbling and this, I don't know, at this point. I will say that they are giving big color purple vibes. If you guys don't know, it is until you do right by me. No, you're never going to have any happiness. The only thing is, I'm actually really happy for this. I'm glad Meghan and Harry got out where, when they did, they need to abolish the monarchy. But even if you think the monarchy has a right to exist and you think that people's blood makes them better than other people, you can still also think that a monarchy is being racist. But then to do that, you'd have to admit they weren't perfect. They weren't ordained by God. But again, look what they're doing to Harry. It lets you know none of it matters. All of it is fake. And we shouldn't believe a word that they're saying because it's not ordained by God. It's ordained by Charles and Charles will give it and take it away. Anyway, y'all, let's get into this mess. First, let's talk about this five minute thing, right? The palace is actually coming out and saying, so the palace is actually saying, angrily issuing a statement, a rare statement on such a private family matter that the public was only informed after every family member had been informed. Now, listen, the Daily Mail is saying that they understand that while it's true that Harry was told shortly before the news became public, the reason for this was because he was on a flight to Scotland and therefore not contactable. Now let's walk through the version of events that have been confirmed by every single angle. Harry and Meghan were on their way because they heard that the Queen um, was passing away. There was a private jet chartered, right? The royal family was getting on it, the ones that weren't in uh, in Scotland, right? Harry and Meghan were on their way. They received a call from Charles saying that Meghan was person non grata. They argued. 
Why can't my wife come? The queen liked Meghan. Now I am imagining what they argued about, but there was a bit of logistics. It was decided that Meghan could not come once more for whatever reason that plane did not take off with Harry and Harry had to charter last minute his own private flight. Now, let me just say this, on all private planes, you have Wi-Fi capability. And I am 100% sure that the private jet that he had to charter, because he is royalty, um, and so, and I mean that to say, uh, you know, security and all that, I am sure it had text Wi-Fi. If I can get Wi-Fi and text on Delta One, I am 100% sure that Harry gets Wi-Fi on private. If you've ever joined uh, Road Private, you know that they actually have uh, Wi-Fi on the plane. So already the palace, right? That's why they wait. They didn't tell him she passed away. Now, to me, it looks like it's another bout of cruelty. That itself, maybe, maybe you can say, ah, I don't know. Who knows what happens? But when you talk about the fact that you told him and then five minutes later told the public, to me, that's payback. Payback for what? Let's not forget how the palace is so angry. They have no control over Harry and Meghan. They're mad that when Harry and Meghan make press releases or make a move, they give them a very short notice. Now, here's the weird part. And this is the sociopath, like the psychopath part of it. You're comparing me not giving you a heads up that Archwell's first episode is not premiering. You're comparing that to actually giving me a five minute notice that my dearly beloved grandmother had passed away. Is this a tit for tat we're playing? Is this a tit for tat we're playing? Harry better revise, write a prequel. I mean, a preface, a foreword. He better write um, an afterword. He better literally, I would say this is the director's cut of the book. I would spill so much tea that the island would still be shaking. But that's what's happened. Now, why are they coming out to clarify? Because they're getting so much blowback. Again, the more, more, more they try to hurt Harry and Meghan, the better they look. And they, they literally... Going back to these very childish things. For one, remember how they didn't invite Harry and Meghan to the pre-reception to the funeral? Well, now I think we know why. Kate was very, very worried. Well, not just Kate, all of them were worried that Meghan and Harry would be in a room full of ward leaders and they would be outclassed. Their charisma would shine because they needed to get the photo ops. Now I'm under the mind. They were never really invited. They literally extended an invitation and then ripped it out. And when the public didn't put together, because some of you guys were in my comments saying they were never invited, Tisa, you need to learn more about our ways in Saltine Island. They weren't invited. They're not working royals because you guys didn't get the memo that the palace were trying to be ignorant. The palace actually issued a statement that they had been disinvited. The palace, all you people were in my comments arguing, oh, you don't know anything about, you must not know anything about what happens in your own country. And for all the royalists around the world that said, the palace was like, hmm, everybody keeps thinking it was just an oversight or made up. Let's issue a statement so people know that we were trying to be ignorant. And we're also going to let them know that they found out through press release. So let's add things up, right? Harry comes. Um, he's told about the queen's death five minutes before the public. I don't care what you say. That was ignorant on everything. That means as soon as he touched down, they said the Queens died and they released it. Again, tell me how only senior royals are can mourn the qu king. I'm sorry, mourn the queen. Tell me how you're going to spin this one. What's more? And this is the best one. You tried to make him look stupid by making sure he can not wear his military honors Again, it looked the optics looked so bad and it made them look fake, right? Then what else happened? They disinvited them and one of the public didn't know they disinvited them. Then they said, put your uniform on, but they stripped it of some metal that the queen gave Harry or whatever is supposed to mean something. Again, they released it because they thought us Americans and the rest of the world were too stupid to know the ways. So they're now actively briefing the press to explain how ignorant they're being to the queen, the king's second born, fifth in line to the throne. And let's 
let's not all forget when they're saying this is about the queen. Everybody focus on the queen. Every news agency in the UK is focusing on this juvenile slight. You guys look at this. Because this is by far the most juvenile or asinine slight. Look, Megan's was a, didn't have a clear shot of Megan. Her face was hidden by a candle and you could only see her hat. Yeah. To which I know Megan and Harry are just sitting there shaking their heads like, are you guys serious? Are you guys effing kidding me? First of all, this shows the pals and how stupid they are and why Charles's reign will probably be the end of the monarchy. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. You guys. Maybe this would have worked in 1920, 1940s, maybe even 1960, maybe even 1980, maybe even 1990. Because back then, people didn't have access. The only pictures we would see would be in Life or People or the Daily Mail or the Daily Sun. Remember those exclusives? Remember when the only time you could actually get fashion or see famous people is if you bought those magazines or bought fashion magazines? You do realize that even though your picture does shows her offset, like blocked by a candle, you do realize every other media outlet in the world sees this. Megan walking around looking like money. They see her every step of the way, skin glowing, thriving. Like the fact that the palace thinks, like they act like, why are they acting like this is like first day of school pictures from 1986 where if your eyes are closed, you don't get a retake and there's no such thing. They are no longer the gatekeepers for anything. And because they still think they are, they have become dinosaurs that everybody else is moving past. We saw this with Brexit with Boris Johnson. You literally have not, the, the UK and the royalists have not reassessed their place in the world, what they contribute, what they give, and their impact. I think this stupid candle trick, look at Kate, like, oh yes, hidden by a candle. To think that you thought that standing two children in front of the most famous royals in the world at this point was going to pull attention from where, for who? Again, Kate, William, actually, let's keep them out of Charles is pe literally preaching to the choir. Look, look. When he and the rest of the royal family refuse to accept that is no longer enough. You are not the nexus of all things civilized. You're preaching to the choir of col colonialization when you need to be talking to the world to stay relevant. Now that said, I'm glad Harry and Meghan got out because even if Harry and Meghan was in, I would call for abolish the monarchy. But just because I want the monarchy to end doesn't mean I'm going to sit here like a dum-dum and turn a blind eye to the racism that exists while it's there. Try to marry in to a family in a system that I think is asinine, useless, a waste of time, effort, family money. Uh, uh, full of hierarchy, elitism, and uh, so many things I hate, right? Doesn't mean that I'm going to turn a blind eye when I see people being racist, being ableist, right? Let's not forget the queen literally wrote out of history her two mentally handicapped cousins who knows what other things were bad. It doesn't give you the right and it's not a free pass. And I don't think trying to marry into this uh, type of family, the punishment for that is to be racially bullied for the rest of your life. Because let me tell you something, if you stand there and watch somebody being bullied, right? You watch somebody being a bully, disrespected, humiliated, what do you think they're going to do to you? Why do you think this ends? Do you think you just laugh off and then they just treat you as equal? I don't understand. There are some things where you're like, yeah, you get what you deserve. But there's other things where I'm like, I can't let you do that because if you do that to them, you're going to do that to me. That's like me laughing that you drag the neighbor I hate out of their house for no reason and throw them in jail for life. I might giggle. Okay, not the jail for life, but I might giggle like, haha, you got in trouble, right? But any thinking person will say, wait a second, even though I don't like that neighbor, you cannot deprive them of their due process. 
Because what happens when you're mad at me? What happens when you don't like me? What happens when our goals align? With this one, we don't even need to act because we know what the royals think. We know how they feel. They have shown us through Meghan and Harry. They have showed us how cruel they are, how unforgiving they are. Dinosaurs, meat, like they're not even cute little fuzzy like herbivore dinosaurs. The mean ones that eat humans for no reason. You guys, listen, I can't wait for Harry and Meghan to leave. I hope they leave later on tonight. I hope they're on a flight already going home. And I hope this pack of hyenas that for some reason people think deserve respect literally start cannibalizing themselves again. Charles is so, 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 so adamant. So adamant about... um, uh, destroying Harry and Meghan that you've forgotten um, the calls coming from in the house. Let's see how these two hash it out, right? Again, who would have thought? Who would have thought? I mean, I did. Anyway, my little Tattletales and Sussex Squad, let me know what you think in the comments and I'll talk to you later.